Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. With all the drama surrounding Cake recently, we again have XQC and Bruce drop him off beefing on the timeline. This comes as no surprise as Bruce recently departed Kick. Worst side being on Kick for the year. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's the worst time I've ever had in streaming. The beginning was cool, but I learned so much shit behind the scenes from like being behind the scenes and knowing shit. And it just kind of fucked up my love for streaming being on that site, if I'm being honest with you. Cause I got lazy. And yeah, you niggas probably seen the number that I was making an hour. I ain't gonna say if it's true or not, because that ain't none of y'all goddamn business. But you know what I'm saying? It it killed my motivation for it because it, it was no creativity within it. It's just do the craziest shit or you're lame. Or it's like go outside and argue with a with a with a nigga or you're lame. <laughs> or suck a dick on a stream or nigga, you're quilly. The fuck? Why are you not sucking a dick on nigga? You're quilly. Put the dick in your mouth, nigga. You're quilly. It didn't make sense, chat. It never made sense at all. As you heard there, Bruce says that it was the worst time he has ever had streaming and that it made him lose his love for streaming. I think that also comes hand in hand a little bit of, by getting a massive bag to stream, I would argue. Once you get a huge bag, then it's like, okay, why am I even grinding to begin with? But I think to no one's surprise, after that bag ran out and they didn't re-offer him it, he went back to Twitch where he's been very successful with 13,000 subs already. However, with this clip circulating, we had XQC comment on it, saying never giving feedback or criticism, but bad mouse the product and experience after the fact. Result to ad homs as soon as any pushback is met. Textbook crash out 101. Where was this energy before? Gotcha. And I think, unfortunately, for Kick in this situation, it seems like a lot of the streamers that were signed with these big bags that aren't someone like XUC or Aiden Ross, who probably have partial ownership in the company now, most of those streamers are going back to Twitch and not really re-upping on Kick because they didn't have exactly the best experience or honestly, probably the most successful live streaming chat. Like, their chats weren't as big, right? Their community was not as big on Kick, and Kick is also sometimes a hard place just to stream in general. However, then you have someone like XQC who has a vested interest in Kick's success, of course is gonna clap back on this, especially when he has the biggest deal we've ever heard of with Kick. Oh, and hey, before we get into that, by the way, shout out to our sponsor, Thunderpick. We got a dope jersey and a dope pillow, but Thunderpick lets us bet on all of our favorite esports and esports teams as they're competing. Obviously, Jake and I love gaming and we love the competitive scene, whether that is Halo, Counter-Strike, Call of Duty, we're able to bet on all of those on Thunderpick as well as watching the matches and watch the live odds update and put up bets. Now, Jake is notoriously awful at betting and I think we've only won money twice, so be responsible. If you do bet and be over 18, please and thank you. This then leads into Bruce deciding to actually crash out. Bro, niggas be dick eaters, bro, because XQC is a fucking dick eater on my mama. You eat mad dick, nigga. Fuck you, nigga. I don't give a fuck. I'm crashing. You're a dick eater, nigga. What the fuck? You fucking dick eater. Oh my God, it's insane. When all that drama happened, Oh, no, don't. Here we go, me, bitch. I was being quiet. I let him say everything he had to say about me. Now it's time to talk about your white crackheaded ass. I don't give a fuck because everybody treats you like the golden boy, nigga. You not the golden boy, nigga. Fuck you, nigga. You came out of an asshole, my nigga. That's why you be shitting. I ain't gonna lie. You be shitting. You got the motherfucking goddamn 500,000 AP on your wrist. But fuck you, nigga. And fuck that watch. I don't give a fuck, nigga. That drama happened. You felt the need to talk about me to fucking bring my name down? Oh, he's just jealous about Kai. We got the same shit! You dumbass! Terms of eight service. Out, eight, 8 out of 10 clip for him, chat. I feel, like I'm, I feel like I'm 16 again, chat. I feel like I'm back on the fucking floor of my dad yelling, telling me to shut up, chat. On oh, my motherfucking daddy, nigga. These niggas got the game fucked up, boy. Y'all must not motherfucking know, nigga. Oh, my mama. This shit ain't get to the worst, bitch, because y'all ain't respond yet. So I want you to, nigga. Respond. I need, yes, I need the viewers. Yes, I need the clips. Yes, I need the fucking money. The fuck? Yes, I need the attention, bitch. Yes, I need to go viral. Yes! Yes, that's what I love. I've been doing it for two weeks straight. Yes! I do like that he acknowledges there that yes, 
I just want the attention. Yes, I just want the clout and everything that comes with me crashing out about XQC. I love the fact that he acknowledges that because ultimately that's what this is, right? If you're here to take this seriously, I probably wouldn't. Just like the Ninja and Kai beef, like it's not really real beef here. Both of these people are people who just react and stir up things, right? XQC just reacts to things and says whatever the hell he wants because ultimately, even if Bruce says that he's not the golden boy, XQC is still a, a multi-millionaire, right? Fuck you, nigga! Watch the rest of the clip! Fuck your watches, nigga! Fuck you! This is your this is a whole fucking orphanage that your bitch ass came from, you stupid gaming fuck! Fuck every juicer too, I'm every juicer shot! You've never seen Okay, you did okay, be quiet, y'all right. But okay, chat. Chat, how you ever met a nigga that said he watched XQC in real life? In real life, if you have, they are either in the fucking anime con or the fucking library smelling like shit. Go back to hanging around your OG friends, man. The friends you used to play Overwatch with. Understood? Maybe they don't fuck with you neither. <laughs> Maybe money do change some people. Because when the fuck did we start wearing $200,000 watches on stream? You think I could give... Chat, when the fuck have I ever... Why the fuck do I got this on? If I got a $100 million deal from Kick, I'd probably be feeling like a golden boy too. And say whatever I want to on stream. Okay, probably not like whatever I want, but you get the idea. Bruce also goes in on the fact that XQC felt the need to talk about Bruce and the situation between him and Kai, commenting that Bruce must have been jealous of Kai. And all of this drama involving all three of them, whether that's, you know, Kai and Bruce originally or XQC then chiming in on it, goes all the way back months ago, but Bruce even talked about this at the beginning of June. Yeah, like, Everybody that felt XQC, nigga, you don't even, when that shit happened, nigga, you reacted to that shit quicker than you take an Adderall pill, bro. And now you talking about some, I didn't believe in it. What are you talking about? Like, why are you even speaking on me, bro? I don't, I didn't, I wasn't speaking on nobody. Like, I don't be, I don't be in niggas business. I ain't worried about your, nigga, as far as I know, you came to kick after I came. And like I said to what Bruce was referencing, XQC reacted to Kai going off about Bruce when Bruce was talking about him and his situation. That's how you feel him, bro. You need to go on that track, hop, hit a hundred on the gas, straight to therapy. Tell the nigga or bitch what the fuck you're going to, bro. That's what you need to do, gang. You need to do that, bro. Because what I don't respect that at all, bro. You telling me shit is old? Nigga, the shit is well damn near after the apology, bro. That shit not cool. I'm going to treat this shit as if it's a, anybody would do this to me. I have no animosity against, against Bruce, but I think after like the, the, um, the Bruce Mayskiff drama type thing, I, I kind of knew that he kind of was like that, and I felt like um, I kind of I kind of labeled him as a person who does that. And after that, I kind of I think these people we kind of have to take a step back a little bit because it it, it it gets too real for no reason. And Even at the time, I didn't really like Mayskiff. What was it? What, what what Bruce said to Mayskiff was really out of pocket, man. That was just fucking cooked up. You don't say shit, like, especially publicly, like. He said like he kind of like wished him to fucking die or shit like that. That's so fucking weird, dude. What? XQC even explained in probably the most XQC way possible, which was by drawing in Microsoft Paint, why he thought that Bruce was jealous of Kai. There's like three categories. One, two, three. Okay. There's there's um clout, money, and then respect. Okay. There's, these are three meters. And you can never have them all the way maxed up. It's not it's not possible to have them all maxed up. Okay. And what happens then is that anytime somebody feels like they're on the lower scale of one of one other, and then they they're in social social social, social dynamics with other people, people get jealous and bitter and weird, and then they start doing drama for no reason. It's really stupid. It, I, I, I think it's really fucking stupid. It's what it is. It's why whenever like, like people do certain things that like that they give them either a lot of this this or that everybody gets jealous and weird it's it's it becomes weird as fuck and during that stream he even commented on why he just stays away generally from Bruce after everything that went on between Bruce and Mizkiff when Bruce left OTK i told you this stuff goes deep and even deeper we have when Bruce went off on XQC about pokemon cookies like of all things Bruce decided to defend Pokemon's cookies? For $25, why the fuck would I buy some cookies for $28? Mm. XQC tried them and said they were shit. I doubt they're worth their price. Well, 
his heart is also fucking pounding off of all the Adderall and cocaine that he does. So it's just like, you know, taste buds go. Feel me? You can't really believe niggas that don't have their taste buds from how many drugs and pills they do. So you have to really take that into account as well. Common theme with Bruce ultimately seeming that he says that XQC does drug. Like that's his common comment that we've seen here is like he's on too much Adderall or cocaine or whatever it is. He's always harshing on that. And even recently on Bruce's alt, we have him commenting once again or really just sharing tweets about this Kai situation where he's sharing the screenshot of someone else's tweet saying, no cap, I'm a huge Kai Sinat fan, but the way the stream community is getting Hanging up on Bruce to gain Kai's approval will never be okay. We see it clear as day. As soon as he starts streaming again, it's a problem now. This has nothing to do with Kai, but if you're real, you see it. And then the tweet got deleted, so Bruce is speculating that, you know, the black trucks pulled up and took the guy out. That's really all there is, as far as I'm aware, of this XQC and Bruce drop him off drama. The way that I have always viewed Bruce is someone that just likes to stir up drama because it rakes in the views for him. Every time he overreacts and goes off on these insane rants about different people or insane topics, he gets a lot of viewership from it, right? It stirs the pot and he benefits from it. That's kind of like his style of content as far as I have ever seen. And then same with XQC. He just reacts to things. We all know that XQC isn't a react streamer and that's fine, but it benefits him to speak about these large topics or things that are happening in the streamer community. So at the end of the day, I think both of them are just saying and doing things that are going to help their own stream do better. And that's really all there is to it. Let me know what you guys think. I'll catch you next time.